Recent polls have shown a fifth of Americans can't locate the U.S. on a world map. Why do you think this is? I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because uh, some people out there in our nation don't have maps and uh, I believe that our ed education like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq everywhere like such as and I believe that they should uh, our education over here in the U.S. should help the U.S. Or, or should help South Africa and should help the Iraq and the Asian countries so we will be able to build up our future for our children. Thank you very much South Carolina. This woman, Caitlin Upton, Miss Teen South Carolina 2007, gained notoriety when this clip appeared on the internet. And though she certainly could have answered the question a lot better, you have to admit the question she was asked is a pretty difficult one to answer. Why is it that so many people in our country can't find the United States on a world map? I asked students from Tacoma School of the Arts and University of Washington Tacoma if they could find major world countries on a map. The UK, China, Italy, Brazil, and India all gathered good results. Though on average the students could find about 77% of the countries they were asked to find, some countries didn't get such high results. Nigeria? Look great, alright Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria? Oh gosh. Sadly, only 40% of participants could find the country. Only one-third of the students could find Afghanistan on a world map. Iraq was found by 47% of people, and Israel didn't do too well either, scoring only 53%, just over half of the students interviewed. School of the Arts instructor David Savage had some interesting thoughts to say on this matter. Geography is important to understand how people operate, to understand, um, I mean, there's, there's geography just understanding like where things occur, um, but I think geography also is something much deeper, which is sort of understanding why things occur um, and how they happen. Um, so that's where you're, you, know, you get all of the topography and all the um, sort of the interplay between people and their environment and, um, and I think if you don't understand that you really don't understand human societies. And finally the United States. The United States. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be really sad if I didn't know where I lived. <laughs> Thankfully all participants could find the U.S. on a world map. So maybe we don't give ourselves enough credit. However, only two people got a perfect score, one of them being David Savage. So sure, it's sad that some people aren't very well informed, but the way I see it, I'm incredibly glad that at the very least, our teachers know what they're doing.